Hi, Keith Wilson here, and in today's video, I want to show you a simple, yet nonetheless very powerful feature, and that is how to create a shortcut to a folder. Now, for some reason, this isn't something you'll often see advertised as a feature of ACT or covered in any type of user guide. Yet in my 16 years experience of supporting the ACT product, it's something I get asked for over and over again. And the reason is generally always the same. Prior to implementing ACT, most businesses, maybe yours is the same, have already structured their client folders elsewhere on a server or dedicated workstation. And rather than creating shortcuts to individual files, which would obviously take a significant amount of time, the preferred option is just to link to the client folder and view the entire contents without ever having to leave ACT. Now I'm sure you're aware that the Documents tab from within ACT allows you to easily create shortcuts to files and also embed them directly into the database. But my experience tells me that very few users know that you can also create links to folders. And as it happens, there are two ways to create these shortcuts. However, in my opinion, one is significantly easier than the other. So with this in mind, and because I primarily like to keep things as simple as I possibly can, I'm going to focus on the easiest process. But before you start, this method does require administration rights to the database, so make sure you're logged in as an admin user first. I am, so let's get started. So from the Tools menu, choose Define Fields. Now depending on where you want that field to exist in the database, will determine which table you want to create the field in. Again, keeping the process simple, let's add this new field to the contacts table. So let's now select create new field down the left hand side. Give the field a name. I'm going to call it shortcut to client folder. The next step is to specify the field data type and you want to choose URL address. All of the other settings on this screen can remain unchanged, so click next. Now in the default value, type file colon forward slash forward slash. Leave the field format blank and if you think the path to your folders will ever exceed 128 characters, change the field length accordingly. The final screen relates to field triggers and in this case it's not relevant, so just click finish. And then close. At this point, unless you've previously ticked this box, you're asked whether you want to add the new field to your layout, and you want to click yes. Now once you're in the layout designer, left click on the field button in the toolbox on the left hand side, and drag it onto the layout. Once you're happy with its location, let go of the mouse button. Don't worry about being too precise, as you can modify its size and location at any point. As you drop the field onto the layout, ACT asks you to choose which field you want to add. And one key point to make here is that ACT will only display fields that don't already exist on the current layout. Therefore, if you can't see a particular field in this list, it simply means that it already exists on the layout somewhere. Now that could be on the main section of the layout at the top, or alternatively, it could be present in one of the tabs at the bottom. ACT only allows the field to exist once on any layout. So once you've found the field that you want to add, decide whether you also want to include a field label. And once you've made that decision, click Add. Now if you want to modify additional field parameters from here, you can. But again, for simplicity, I'm going to just make a couple of basic changes. I'm going to save the layout and exit back to the contact detail view. If you want to learn more about customizing layouts, be sure to check out my other tutorials. Oh, and just one other important point to make you aware of here. 
If you recall, I set a default value in this field, which was file colon forward slash forward slash. And if you notice here on my record, ACT has not entered that into this field, and here's the reason why. ACT does not go back retrospectively over all the existing records and add the default into the new field. This will only be entered when you add a new contact to the database. Let me show you. So there it's entered the default and all you need to do now is enter the full path of the relevant folder that you want to link to and you can either type it in manually or copy the path from Windows Explorer. I'm going to do the latter, so I'll open Windows Explorer. I'll find the folder in question. Highlight it. Then from the top section of the window, I'll single click it, then either right click and choose copy or the keyboard equivalent is control C. Once happy, close Explorer. Hover over the data field until the hand indicator changes to what's called an I beam and then single click in the field. Once your flashing cursor is in the correct place, i.e. at the end of the two forward slashes, either right click and choose paste, or again the keyboard shortcut for paste is control V. Then finally save your changes and test the new link. If you ever find the links not working, it's generally because you may be clicking the link when the cursor is actually an I beam. In such cases, all you need to do is just move your mouse away from the field and it should then recognize the field as a URL and allow you to click the link. So to summarize, the steps that you need to carry out to achieve this are as follows. Firstly, create a new URL field in the relevant table with a default value of file colon forward slash forward slash. Secondly, Add the new field to your layout. And finally, enter the path to the desired folder you want to link to and save the record. And remember, if you're creating a link for a record that already exists in the database, you must proceed the path with the file colon forward slash forward slash command, otherwise it will not work. Well, that concludes this video, and as always, I sincerely hope you've seen great value in its content. And if that is the case, and to encourage me to make more of these tutorials, I would ask you to kindly post some positive comments on my blog, which can be found at http colon forward slash forward slash act 2010.wordpress.com. Feedback is absolutely crucial to understanding whether I'm providing you with relevant content or not. So my name's Keith Wilson. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And until next time, bye for now.